Hello friends. Besides our fig collection, at one time I had an extensive pomegranate collection and I haven't written about that for many years. Um, I had at one time 60 to 70 varieties, but it wasn't a profitable, profitable business for us. I'm trying to sell fruit, um, competing against big corporations that grow just one variety. Um, I just had a difficult time plus they're difficult to sh ship in a box because of the size you can't get that many fruits um, the cost of shipping was over 50 percent of the value of the fruit so some people did enjoy it but it was too time consuming um, but i kept 12 or 15 trees for our own use but here in front of us is a seedling pomegranate tree there's a lot written about seedling fig trees that we can find around California where we have fig wasp populations um, but pomegranates don't require any sort of special insect like the fig wasp for pollination and they all have viable seeds in them and the birds will eat some fruit and carry off seeds and this is a unique variety I mean, want to come up with a name of it I like to name it after my sweet wife Linda somehow but it's not um, just a sweet variety it's sweet and tart it's a good variety um, I'm not picking them yet I like them to get a little bit riper I like the, the end of October and we're busy with our chestnut harvest now this tree here gets no fertilizer um, and it does get watered some when we flood irrigate the fig orchard but this one here um, is probably ripe in fact maybe I'll go ahead and pick this one here it's starting to split that's really probably brush um, scarring from rubbing and gets another branch so let me open this up here and show and try to do a one-handed um, video a second part hold on Okay, I'll do this in a couple of stages um, of how I prepare a pomegranate. Um, I cut just in through the rind from the bottom and the, the calyx end of it. And I just try to cut a somewhat um, straight circle around the bottom. And now I'm going to pry this so-called cap off. So hold on. Okay, so now I've pried that off. Some of the arrows or kernels did fall to the ground here but um, if they separate very easily like that is a pretty good indication that the fruit is ripe um, what I do you can see these segment lines you know similar to like an orange you know citrus having segments and there are these white um, membranes in between I'll cut down the edges of those down towards the top of the fruit upside it's upside down now and then you can wet Pull the wedges apart and separate out but I'm not going to do that now um, I'm going to just there's some kernels here loose I'm going to go ahead and taste it and describe it for you I say it's moderately sweet and a nice um, amount of tartness also good pomegranate flavor the the seeds within these arrows or kernels are quite soft and that's a, an attractive feature to any pomegranate so, you know I grow a lot of um, I grow about 15 pomegranate varieties and I guess one of them has very hard seeds but it's excellent juice from that variety uh, Sacardisi is the name of the variety I'm talking of there but um, this is very good I haven't decided on a name yet but I'll probably name it after Linda eventually when I come up with a good idea for her name thanks for watching